Thank you, Catherine. We're going to go ahead and get to a news alert out of Spartanburg County this morning. Multiple 911 calls led to deputies to townhomes for a shooting. And we do have some new details. The suspect in a crash that killed a beloved Greenville County teacher pleads guilty in court. 33. Also this morning, we're learning new details about a deadly shooting in Pickens County. This is actually a story that we broke to you. Getting to this morning's view, decide the Democratic National Convention is underway after a night of high-profile speeches and festivities. Our Washington correspondent Peter Zampa has a look inside the convention following President Joe Biden's primetime speech and even a surprise appearance from Vice President Kamala Harris. Former President Barack Obama and First Lady Michelle Obama, like he said, are expected to headline the DNC tonight with Illinois Governor J.B. Pritzker as also scheduled to speak at the meeting and this morning she's breaking down the votes. Take a look. All right, you decide this morning. November will be here before you know it, but voters will get to make some important choices today in Spartanburg County. We want to start with Spartanburg School District 7. That's where voters will consider whether or not to fund some major projects. Also in Spartanburg County, another major referendum will be decided today. It's aimed at raising money for a local fire district. Getting to some new details now as two industrial project expansions could soon get a tax break. Spartanburg County Council voting to approve the first reading for both of them. So the two inv Covering the southeast now, a community is a mourning after a Georgia deputy was killed in the line of duty. Also in Georgia, a fierce fight is growing over the future of a beloved national wildlife refuge. Abby Kasaurus has the details. Hey there, welcome back. In this morning's Most Wanted, we have a suspect out of Greenwood County to tell you about. Fox Carolina's photojournalist Mindy Cecil sat down with the Sheriff's Office for more about this case. Catherine? We do have a news alert. A weekend activity taking a tragic turn. The Greenville County Coroner's Office says a child has died after being found in a swimming pool. Well, this morning, neighbors are upset with an upstate steel company because the company wants to store its products on its property in Taylor's. But several who live nearby... Well, Greer's Planning Commission shaping the city's future and one project could add dozens of homes to an already busy area. Fox Carolina's Dana Winter is taking a look at the agenda. Well, starting the school year, a new rule is in place across South Carolina regulating which books are allowed in public schools. But some teachers, they're facing an unreasonable amount of work because of how some districts are interpreting that new rule. State House reporter Mary Green has the details. Alrighty, thank you for those updates. We're going to go ahead and get to a Fox Carolina safety alert now. More than 85,000 Fords are being recalled due to some mechanical issues. And moving to Connecticut, where firefighters rescue people from a restaurant after severe flooding. And we do have new video coming out of Texas, where it appears to show a UPS truck losing control before crashing into a tree. Moving on to your sports headlines now. Furman University's football helmet this season will have a decal to honor the Paladins defensive lineman who passed away earlier this year. This is probably a story that... Moving on to what's new today, we're checking out some helpful tips from the cleaning experts. It's a simple remedy for everything from your kitchen to the bathroom. The Queen of Clean is here to explain how to make lemon oil right at home. Good morning and welcome back. When you hear the word investing, your mind probably goes straight to the stock market, right? But consumer investigator Rachel DePompa finds out in this morning's Watching Your Wallet, there's more than one way to invest.